Hi, I'm Mel Allen from Such a Voice, and here are 10 questions that potential students often ask me. The first one is, what is your student success rate? And that's really a more difficult question to answer than you might think because success means different things to different people, and so because it might mean something different to you than a person down the hall, there's no accurate tool to measure what success is. And what I do know is that many of our students tell us that they do very well and when students contact us and tell us that things aren't going right for them we find that usually it's because they haven't followed the plan to market themselves that we've set out with them. Another question I'm often asked is what sets such a voice apart from others? Well such a voice has a proven track record of over 20 years of helping people effectively get into the voiceover market. Uh, we hone the talents of students, we teach you all of the necessary steps, basically just a comprehensive approach at getting yourself into voiceovers with all the tools you need and how to market yourself effectively in the field. And all of our clients receive lifetime support because we really do care about helping you obtain the success that you want and deserve. A third question I'm often asked is, am I really ready for voiceovers? Well, you're likely very close to being ready, especially if you've been invited to our voiceover training. Uh, if you have, then we feel you have a good grasp on some of the very important voiceover basics. And we will take your skill set, work with you to bring you up to the next level, and teach you how to turn those skills into an income generating career. A fourth question I'm asked is, is there enough coaching time to teach me all I need to know? And yes, uh, this doesn't happen all in one day. Uh, we use small group seminars, one-on-one -on -one phone coaching, intensive in-person workshops that uh, happen over the course of a day, in-person demo preparation and recording, as well as our bi-weekly teleconference seminar series, and much more that's all directed to prepare you for that career in voiceovers. The fifth question I'm asked is, how long will it be before I get work? And we find some people start getting work as soon as they tell people that they're a voiceover artist, and some even before their demo is returned. Basically, the better prepared you are for marketing yourself, the sooner that you'll get work. Now, most people who consistently market themselves right from the get-go, well, they'll find work within the first few months of starting that marketing plan. The sixth question I'm frequently asked is, how much can I make doing voiceovers? Well, according to a website called Simply Hired, among others, the average income of a voiceover artist professional ranges between about $47,000 to about $68,000 a year. As an $11.7 billion a year and growing industry, there is a great opportunity for you to earn a very respectable income. And what you make depends really on the time you invest in yourself and what your personal goals are. The seventh question I'm asked is, do you give everyone a good evaluation? Well, we give everyone an honest evaluation. And if somebody really doesn't sound ready for voiceovers, we'll give them some pointers, maybe some ideas on how they could get prepared. Those who do sound ready and get a positive evaluation, well, they'll get an invitation to our masterclass. After all, the success of our students also is the success of such a voice. The eighth question I'm asked is, are people satisfied with your training program? And yes, we have numerous testimonials from students who have gone through our training and would be very happy to share that with people who are looking to train with such a voice. The ninth question I'm asked is, do I really have to pay the total cost up front? And the answer is no. We actually have a number of options to pay for the training with us. It's all handled in-house, and some of those options don't require any financing. And that brings us to number 10. Am I ready to record a demo? Well, probably not. Otherwise, the demo would be the first thing that we do with you. The first step is to actually hone and polish your skills, and then we work with you to finesse your niche in voiceovers. Uh, next, we prepare you for that demo, and we also work with you during its creation. Such a voice. Voiceover training and demo production.